What's up, everybody? It's your boy, for Real Shocker, the United States Joe here with our Week 2 matchup going against The Real here in Week 2. This is the rubber match between me and Real, so this is going to be a very good match. To say the least. Definitely hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to join the Twitch Shocker every day because you can be feeling with the King of the Crew. So let's go ahead and just get into the battle here. So I'm going to go ahead and lead off my side of the He's going to lead off his flag on. I see a perfect opportunity to just go for a knockoff here. And he goes for his, uh, Scarf. His scar He's probably going for the U-turn there, which predicts me that it's probably Scarf. He's going to go for the Grassy Glide, which makes a lot of sense. But Mel Mel is going to come in here. And Mel Mel just pretty much just to click uh, the Iron Bash. There's no other reason not to. And, uh, he actually reveals to be Rocky Helmet in center, which I really don't understand behind the play. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out and go to my Snorlax. I do lose my lefties, which is really unfortunate. Um, I am going to go for the Body Slam here, because Snorlax doesn't do too much for me, but it's really good. Do nab a pretty sick pair right here, and I am going to go for the Earthquake. I think, depending on his investments, a roll to kill. Do not get the roll. He does get that burn right there. And right here, I am going to go for the Brick Break. I wish I had gone for the Facade Bear. I should have went for the Facade right there, because I would have crippled that thing really much now with my Rotom. I now get a here, but thanks to the little bit of recovery it's had, I'm gonna go ahead and just go for another of that grassy glide. Is gonna be enough to knock me out. So I'm gonna slow, slow pain. So I'm gonna go on my flag on here. I'm gonna volt switch. I'm really surprised he saved the thing, but he's gonna go for the stone edge. And right here, debate shows that he is not scarred, which is really good prep on his. I'm gonna go for the poison jab, and I do get the clutch poison right here. I am gonna go. Not gonna lie, probably should have went for the earth power here instead of the skull. That skull is like a zero down play right here. And then he's gonna die. So Sizemato picks up his first kill this season. And what I'm gonna do right now is he's gonna go into the Rillaboom. I'm gonna go into my Leg Hulk here. And this is where this is bad. I really wish. I really, 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 really wish now I put Earthquake because this close combat and. Me going for my minus defense has killed me here, so that's really unfortunate. But I'm going to go to my Mel Metal. Mel Metal is going to get a double Iron Bash kill. He deserves it. And at this point, I am sacking Mel Metal. There's nothing Mel Metal really does for me in this game. If I had lived that, that would have been funny. But I'm going to go to my Umbreon here, and I am just going to click Foul Blight. There is no reason for me not to click Toxin and stuff like that. And part of me now wishes I clicked Wish, and then I clicked Foul Blight right there. Because now in comes the um, Lycanroc. I'm going to go ahead and stay in here. Right here, though, I do do regret because you're gonna see he's gonna go for the close combat here. Wait, wait, wait! Oh, he, oh, he protected. That's why. Yeah, this was a GG right there. Sorry, I'm getting just a little confused right now because my cat is annoying, is annoying the heck out of me right now. I'm trying to like nibble at my face. He's trying to do this and that. I just wish he'd stop. But basically, some of this match, uh, I'm not gonna lie, we kind of just rushed through this game. Um, I really, 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 really wish I had Earthquake. I really wish I had Earthquake. I mean, I was still faster. Don't get me wrong. Cause I think I I did the creep right when I wanted to do. But um, yeah, and also definitely not clicking that facade. That facade was a big misplay in case he wanted to save that Incineroar. Cause if I had facade that. Flygon could have been dead. If Flygon was dead, pretty much wrote him one the game right there with Scarf Bolt switching. Because I would have lived at least one SL Rock, and then I could have killed. Melmetal would have been more healthier, and uh, yeah, but you know, it is what it is. You know, I can't, you can't win them all. Um, part of me does wish I had did click knockoff over. I probably should have clicked a knockoff over what it is, because I could have just barely lived, and then I could have CC'd, but then again, the Lycanroc comes in, Lycanroc finishes me off, or the Rillaboom comes in, Rillaboom finishes me off, one of the two. But then it just gives me a free switch into Rotom here, and then I can, and if, say, like, say the Flygon lived, then I overheated something, and then just killed the Rotom, I would have killed that. In comes this, so I don't really worry that too much, but it is what it is. But hey, we go, it's only two, we go one and one. With a plus zero differential, so it's basically kind of just right back to the beginning. So yeah, we got at least five more weeks. Three. 
We got five more weeks. Big chances to win. If we can win three of our five weeks, we guarantee make playoffs. If we lose three of our five weeks, it is going to be very unfortunate. Because then it's going to come down to a split decision, probably. And, again, it's just really going to come down to how our games will. we got some players that we have gotten some really good wins over. So, we've got some new players that we haven't faced. So, it's going to be interesting on that as well. But, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video, guys. i got two more videos I need to record. And these are going to be really bulked back behind. So, uh, yeah, be prepared for that. But, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. I do sorry, apologize if my commentary was not the best. And, really... That needs to be up there. Sorry if my commentary wasn't the best, so I do apologize for that. But I'm going to try to do better with my next commentary pieces and stuff like that. But until next time, guys, I'm Phil Shocker, the 90s Hedgehog. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, guys.